In today's show, we're going to be taking a look at the port of the Neo Geo game Windjammers to the Sega Genesis and Sega Mega Drive. We're also going to be taking a look at and unboxing a physical copy of the game. My name's Mike, and this is the Retro Game Boy Show. I love the Neo Geo and I love the Neo Geo games that were ported to our Sega Genesis and Sega Mega Drive. They're some of the best arcade games ever to make it onto the system. They're some of the best looking, best sounding, best playing games that you can buy on the console. And today we have another game, but this is a game that never came out back in the day. This is a game that has been ported by a team from the Neo Geo over to the Sega Mega Drive. And this team's credentials are awesome. They've worked on some of the best indie titles, ROM hacks and remasters out there for the Sega Genesis and Mega Drive. Yes, we're gonna be taking a look at Windjammers, an awesome sports game, a cross between Frisbee and tennis. It's an absolutely amazing game that I'm terrible at. So let's have a look at Windjammers running on the Sega Mega Drive and Genesis. Ooh. That's very nice. I love that little touch. So, a little disclaimer on Windjammers. Uh, I used to play this on a Big Red, so the, the kind of MBS arcade machines back in the day. And I am, <laughs> I'm terrible at it. Uh, what I did love about Windjammers though is the multiplayer. Me and my friends played it. Absolutely amazing game in multiplayer. I'm terrible at the single player game, so We'll probably never win a game here. We'll have a look at the multiplayer as well. I haven't got anyone with me, so it'll just be me versus no one. So I'll definitely win that. Um, but yeah, let's take a look at Windjammers. Looks very authentic. Right. Let's, let's see how I do straight off the bat. No. <laughs> oh, I'm, do I mean, I'm doing well already. It looks amazing. There's no doubt about it, this game looks absolutely fantastic. It looks like the Neo Geo version. Oh, I didn't get in there quickly enough. Well, that was good. Got a good rally going on. I'm trying to get a super move off. So if you just hold down A, as it's coming to you, you can do a super move, which is what I'm trying to do here. While we watch him fail miserably at Windjammers, let's take a look at this very special port of a game from Neo Geo to the Sega Genesis and Mega Drive. Windjammers for the Mega Drive is being created by a team of just four guys. Pyron, Lenoka, Luke444 and Francois H. The game is currently 50% complete, but they have five of the original six levels already in the game. As well as the sixth level, the team will also be adding another two exclusive levels to the Genesis and Mega Drive version. I really love this about ports to Sega's 16-bit system. Many of these teams are not just looking at straight ports, but are putting in the extra work to make them unique to the console. These are real passion projects. All the music is done and in the game, as is all the original characters with their full animation sets. This is amazing and just shows while the Neo Geo was a far superior machine, the Mega Drive had some real power of its own and was capable of running technically ambitious games. Alongside the original characters, there will also be two new characters and two new musical scores added to the game. It's insane what these guys are creating here. <laughs> I could be winning it. Yeah, yeah, well done. You nearly managed to win a single round, yet you still managed to fail. The team are also going to add in the Fury system, that's in Windjammers 2, which is really cool. And then there's all the tweaking to collision, hitboxes, speed adjustments, building out the menus, bug fixing, and even adding in the bonus stages. This really is going to be a stunning port. Right, how's he getting on? Right, so I've done absolutely terrible and lost every single game. Uh, again, that's not a, a reflection of the game itself, just how bad I am in this game. But let's have a look quickly at the one versus two player here. Uh, and this is where I really love the game. Now I've got no one to play with, 
so it's gonna be super easy, but we get another look at some of the visuals in this game. And again, it looks stunning. All the little animations, the colors as well. I mean, it looks like a Neo Geo game with all these colors in it. It's absolutely fantastic. We've got the referee animations in there or the crowd going on. Now, of course, it's not the Neo Geo version, but it's pretty amazing. Neo Geo has always been great on the Sega Mega Drive when it comes to conversions. Samurai Showdown, Fatal Fury, they look great. Big sprites, color work has been amazing. And this, this port here is doing justice to what those original ports did on the Sega Mega Drive and the Sega Genesis. So good at, I'm so good when it's just me against no one. That's when I really shine. Right, let's talk a little bit more about Windjammers on the Sega Mega Drive and Sega Genesis. That was absolutely brilliant. And just after that, I did manage to play with my son a couple of rounds of the game, and it's so, so good in two-player mode. They've got all the animation in there, all the visuals that you get from the Neo Geo. There's some cut down on the crowd, but barely noticeable. And the color work, the color work is outstanding. The audio is brilliant, as are the sound effects with the game. And I can't wait to see this at its full release. And just think, this game is already 50% complete and they're adding a ton of content. Two new characters, two new levels, audio tracks as well. This is gonna be one of the best ports right up there with Final Fight coming to the Sega Mega Drive. Now, as a big fan of Neo Geo games on the Sega Mega Drive, I wanted to make something very, very special for this game. I wanted to make my own physical copy. And to do this, I bought some equipment so I could make my own cartridges. And I went a little bit further with this one than I have before on my other custom sleeved games. This one, I've done a manual and something very, very special. So this is my physical copy of Windjammers here. Now I've used some of the original art from the game rather than creating my own art, but I've added in the Data East and SNK logos down the side there. Uh, on the back, we've got the, the logo, and then obviously we've got the different languages, three different languages for this game I've put on there. And these are screenshots from the actual game as well. Of course, one or two players, this barcode, if you scan this in, that will take you to a Windjammers game. Now, the really cool stuff about this physical version that I've made here is two things. The first is some of the extra detail I've gone to on the interiors. And the second is that I bought myself some equipment so that I can make my own physical games at last. And specifically for projects like Windjammers, where we'll never really get a physical release of it because the game is owned by someone else and people are really kind of just doing the work of the hard, awesome work of porting it over to the Mega Drive, but won't ever really be able to make physical copies of it. And so I wanted to be able to make my own physical copies of some of these absolutely amazing indie projects that are happening. So let's have a quick look of what you get inside my physical version of Windjammers. Now the first thing you'll notice is that there are two cartridges. Now why are there two cartridges in my version of Windjammers? Well, I bought a ton of loose cartridges without the PCB boards in from a, a market seller. Loads of them, uh, ruined cartridges. Well, the labels ruined, but the cartridges themselves were in excellent condition. And I had a few of these front facing parts of the cartridge, but not the back facing. And so what I've done is I've created a shell alternative version just like you'd get a dual cover with some of these games that come out i've made my own version of a dual shell so you could change the front of your shell to have a different sticker now obviously we've also got the actual cartridge itself it's the same as the box art as we've got over here and that is using like i said an official sega cartridge in there and this is the pcb that i've actually put together my, well, I haven't put the PCB together. I purchased the PCB board there and that allows me to make my own physical games there. Again, we've got Data East and SNK along the top there. And then obviously Windjammers running along the top there. Now I'm particularly proud of the manual because this is my first full 
manual reproduction that I've done, or original creation in this case. Again, the artwork, the artwork on all of this is artwork that already exists. A lot of the time when I create my own boxes, I'll take artwork and I'll do a lot of transformational work on it. So it becomes something that, that I've created. Uh, but in this case, I haven't. I've stayed authentic to, to artwork that's out there, which means, unfortunately, I can't share this. I would normally, if I've done something transformational to a piece of artwork and made my own covers, I'd share these out. But uh, in this case, because I've used directly other people's artwork, I've just kept it for my own personal use. But let's take a look at this extra detail I've added to this manual. So here's the manual, and again, it's got that nice silk finish that you find on all the manuals for the Sega Mega Drive and Genesis. And then I've done the exact same thing. I've got silk printed pages inside. Uh, three different languages, just like on the back of the box. So we've got story, uh, the basics of how to play wind jammers, and I've put in controls, and then advanced controls, because wind jammers is ex insanely insanely detailed or has a huge amount of depth to it in its control system even though it's two buttons and then at the back here I've got the guys who have done the mega drive development I've got their credits in there and then the original team credits as well and then as you go through it we've got uh, all the other different languages in the booklet and then right at the end just like you got in an original mega drive and Genesis booklet we have a notes page Now I haven't got a final release date for when Windjam is the final game will drop on our Sega Genesis and Mega Drive. These guys do all of these projects in their own time. But what I will do is drop a link down in the description below so that you can try out the demo for yourself. Now, you know I love things like this. Games getting ports, remasters, ROM hacks, brand new indie games coming to the Sega Mega Drive and Genesis. And if you like that as well and you're not subscribed, well, why don't you just click on the little subscribe button below this video. We put out brand new content every single week, everything to do with retro gaming, with Sega, with the Mega Drive and Genesis. And so that you never miss a show, make sure you also click on the little bell found just below this video. Now, if you can't wait until next week, don't worry, because we've got a huge back catalogue of retro gaming videos for you to enjoy. Two of which you can watch over here.